What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the what I think might be the best kept secret. I don't really don't know if it's a secret. There may be tons of videos out there on this stuff, but this is some they advertise it as drum wrap, but it's for making signs and stuff. I got this from Paper Street Plastics. I'll put a link down in the description for it. But this stuff is probably the closest thing to the real thing as far as the drum wrap. I have struggled to try to get like pictures of this stuff and videos of it and none of it does any justice of what this stuff looks like in real life because it has real glitter inside of it. I covered this in another video. I, I have a playlist. This video is in a playlist. Building a epic electronic drum set. It's going to be in that playlist. So there's other videos like, you know, where I talk more about the wrap and everything. So I am going to retouch on comparing this stuff to, a, you know, actual drum wrap that the big name companies use. This is a product that you can get from Precision Drum Company. I talked about this in another video, but I'm going over it again. I might put a link in the description if you want the real thing. But this thing is like Dalmar, I believe is the name of it. But this is the actual drum wrap. I got them to send me some samples because I was thinking about using it. This is a, it's called a green glitter. Probably can't see that, it's probably washed out or whatever. You know, but it has like real glitter inside of it. And this is a green sparkle and it has green sparkle, you know, actual glitter inside of it. But this stuff's real thick and durable and super glossy. And also it's really expensive. A 24 inch by 54 inch, I believe, sheet of this stuff is $132. And that's barely even enough to do a bass drum, much less uh, any of your rack tom. So, you know, you're looking at a minimum of three to four pieces to do a, a large drum set. This stuff from Paper Street Plastics, it's definitely a whole lot cheaper material because this stuff is, is actually, it's like a vinyl on paper, but they suggest, we'll go over that in this video, but they suggest that you leave the paper backing on there and that's what I'm gonna be doing. But I'll peel you a little piece back and show you. It's probably going to be super blown out because I've got a lot of lights on. But there's actual glitter inside there. Can I, can I get it to focus? Oh, there you go. See, there's actual glitter inside there. So this stuff's, you know, really nice. But it's hard to capture on video how this stuff looks. So this stuff, right, you can get a 24 inch by 30 feet, okay? 30 foot long piece of this by 24 inches for $70. Now, if you're doing like a, a small drum set or like this Elise's drum set that I'm doing here, let me see, I'm looking on the website here. You can get a 24 inch by 10 foot piece of this stuff for current pricing is $35.95, plus shipping, of course. The, I, this is way more than I'm gonna need but I was kind of unsure because I was thinking about adding some like actual floor toms to this drum set and stuff. So I went ahead and, and got, got the big roll, but I am over the top of how this stuff looks. I'm not sponsored by them. I paid full price. You know, they don't know me from Adam. But anyway, this is, uh, this is like the, the vinyl stuff that you see that they wrap cars with. This is, this is called Green Chrome. It's by Vivid. I got this off of Amazon and this stuff is probably three times more expensive than this. If you was going to get a 30, 24 by 30 foot roll of this stuff right here, it's probably going to be 150, a couple hundred dollars. Like a full roll of, of vinyl car wrap is like a thousand bucks. But this is what, I, you know, I wrap, I, I've got one more tom to do. I got my bass drums to do. We're going to do in this video. We're going to do a bass drum. But I've done all my toms. And this is the, the last little, this is my eight inch tom that I haven't done yet. Um, but this is my 10. Look at this. I wished... I've, I've got some b-roll footage that I'll probably put in there as I, you know, as I talk about it or whatever, because it's just really hard, even the color, because I can tell in this camera that the color looks like a, a lighter, a weird, like a mint, mint green or whatever, but this is straight up lime green. I, it's just hard to get a good, maybe from back here you can tell, I don't know if it, if, if the camera whitens or, or up close maybe if you can tell if i if i do it like this i don't know it's really take my word for it this stuff looks awesome enough about that i've already rambled way too much in this video 
But I'm gonna get these drums out of the way. These are already wrapped. I'm gonna wrap my bass drums. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take apart this bass drum. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'm just gonna set up a quick time lapse. I'm gonna rip this thing apart. Anyway, let's get started on that. Okay, so here's the only con about this stuff that I've found so far. Yeah, so the one of the cons that I've found so far is when you straighten this stuff out, so like when it's in a roll, it's nice and smooth when it's round. But when you straighten it out, it does a, what they call tunneling. It's on the website, the guy talks about it. So there's a way to take care of this. And uh, it's not that hard. It may be on this bigger piece, but on some of the on the, some of the smaller pieces that I've done, it's not that difficult. Let's see, what I do is I get it on the edge of the table like this, and I take my little clamp to hold it. Get it right on the edge. I'm not clamping it tight, that is just to hold it. And then I'm just going to peel it off of the backing. After I clean, I don't want to get any dirt under it, I want to peel it. This stuff doesn't really static a lot like um, like the vinyl does, the vinyl wrap. When you peel it off, it becomes like a magnet. But this stuff doesn't do that so bad. Yeah, so basically you just peel it off the paper. And it sticks back to it rather, rather well. Peel it off the paper and then just put it back on with it flat. Take my squeegee, run it down the middle there. Get any air bubbles out of it. It does gain a little length when you do this, not much, probably about a quarter of an inch. Here we go, perfectly flat. So that's not that big a deal. Hmm, need a longer surface here. We'll try it. <laughs> We'll try it anyway. Oh, I don't have much. It'd be fine. Man, this stuff is awesome.
Sorry, my nose is still, I have had sinuses for almost two weeks now. Probably longer. There we go. Nice and smooth. All right, so now let's put it on this bass drum. So the idea here is I'm going to leave the paper backing on this drum. And I'm gonna to try to make it to where these lugs on the bottom of the drum here. Is that right? Pretty much the bottom. Am I looking at it right? Yeah, these lugs are on the bottom. So I'm going to try my best uh, eh, to have my overlap be right here at these lugs. I'm gonna come back this way just a hair past those lugs. Is that right? Nope, actually, I'm gonna go past the lugs just a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll get it right here in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna go past those lugs all the way to where that glue line is. Then I just take these little things here and clip it on there. I see people doing this, you know, with the, the clamps for, their, for woodworking and stuff. These, these work fine for me. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and get my wrap around here before I worry about getting it tight, because you're gonna to wanna to try to get it as tight as you can, because you're not sticking it. We're just putting it on here like this. Line those up. Pretty good. So, see here, where's those holes at? They're right there. Should have made a mark. So the wrap's a little longer than I would like for it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it here. I'm gonna find me some scissors. And then I'm going to cut about a little more than an inch off of there. Let me find my scissors. Right at them lug holes. Can't see. I'm going to have to get over here to the side so I can eyeball it. Somewhere about right in there will work. As you can hear, this stuff's pretty thick. Definitely not straight, but good enough. All right, so now I'm going to slide these back about right here. Let this fold over and slide these down to about right here. Peel this back. And my scissors again. <laughs> I'm gonna peel back about an inch of this. Kind of rushing a little bit cause I'm filming this and everything. I'm gonna cut me a little bit off of here. I'm trying to keep it straight, but it ain't working. Close enough. Stick that down. I'm a little squeegee. A little squeegee here. Squeak that down a little bit. Then our overlap will be uh, not quite at the lug holes. Lug holes are right there. 
I'm wondering if I should cut just a little bit more off of there because I really would like for it to be right at the lug holes. Yeah, let's do that. And it'll straighten the edge up a little bit too because I made it look like crap. So. All right, cross our fingers that I didn't take too much off. I don't think I did. I do not think I did. And that stuff's sticking really good right there. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to just go around stretching it as I get over there. Making sure I've got it pulled tight. Headed that way. stuff locks on pretty good. All right. Close. Very close. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. All right. I'm going to put the, my clips back on here. Way tighter than the factory wrap, I must say. way I'm like should I cut this with the scissors or... yeah I'm just gonna cut it with the scissors gonna more time making sure we got her tight layer down softly whisper cut it a little not perfect but by golly it's gonna work for what I want there I, I hope I hope it doesn't wrinkle up like the other stuff did Probably not capturing this very well, but mm. there we go. Some wrap on the bass drum. What I did do is I would take my Zacto knife. The next step would be to take my Zacto knife and go around and find all these little holes and cut it out around them. But I discovered I got this countersink tool at Harbor Freight um, years ago. It's a little countersink bit. It's just a, it's for countersinking holes or deburring holes. But it's got a little, let me clean that thing out. Yeah. Where that, there it is. Little countersink bit. Fits in my little impact wrench. like this and I just go around and uh, run them holes out check this out this freaking works great there's my hole it's right there look at that perfect perfect works great anyway won't bore you guys with that we're gonna put all the holes in this thing. So I've got the base done. I've already got the wrap cut to do the little eight inch tom already. 
and I've got the wrap cut to do the other bass drum and I have left over this whole I mean it don't even look like I've used any of it like I said earlier this is the 30 foot roll so I really don't know about the the longevity of this how long it's gonna last how well it'll do out in the Sun I don't know any of that I do know that it looks freaking awesome when you put it on there when it's new so time will tell maybe I'll do an update later to see how well this stuff holds up I mean it seems pretty durable and scratch resistant I said earlier one of the cons was like how it tunnels you know when you lay it out flat but it's no big deal to like peel it and stick it uh, but I guess maybe a second con would be and I don't know if this camera is picking it up but it's slightly orange pilly if that makes sense because this is this wrap is super glossy you know this stuff is kind of orange but it is it's still glossy but it's not like perfectly flat glossy if that makes sense so i guess that would be the only other con about this stuff um it went on easy easy to work with cuts well i i don't know it looks awesome even though my camera is not picking it up um it freaking it's glowing and i love it so anyway next video we're going to be uh building the rack for this thing uh, so yeah keep an eye for Look down there in the playlist. I'm making a playlist of all this crap. So, um, yeah, going to be building the rack, starting putting the drums back together, get back to making some noise. So, see you guys on the next one. Bye.